Hey guys, it's Cuddle of Death here testing out the camera on my new phone. It's a Samsung Mesmerize. It's available from US Cellular. cellular. Um, if you guys have that, a lot of people don't, that's okay. Anyways, um, if you're watching this video and you're wondering why is this a Pokemon video or why is this a game video and it's not a World of Warcraft video, it's because if you haven't checked out my channel, I also do Pokemon videos. Um, so if you're not interested in Pokemon, then don't bother watching this. I plan on putting out more videos later on World of Warcraft and other stuff, so, um, if you like Pokemon, might as well continue watching. Um, it, this video is not just about checking the quality of, um, how good this phone can record, but I also want to show you guys what I've gotten from the dream world so far. Give me one second. Okay, so here we have the, what you would call an event Krogunk, I guess, if you want to call it that. I think it came from the Koro Koro magazine. Don't quote me on that. I've been really busy with college lately, so I haven't been playing my games much at all. So it comes with its dream world ability, Poison Hand, which basically whenever Pokemon attacks it, it has a chance of getting poisoned. It's nothing that significant. So the next one is my Nidor and Mail. Um, I just randomly found it, so I was like, cool, I can get a Nidor King later. And then of course a Stantler, and I was like, okay, I'll just take it. Execute. Um, this guy actually has Psychic. Um, he came with it from the Dream World. Sorry um, about the shaky camera. I'm holding it with one hand, but. Um, yeah, it's a pretty overpowered move for level 10. And then this is a Ponyta that I ran into. I decided to take it anyways. Some, some days I'll get lucky in the Dream World and others not. As you can see, a crowd favorite, Rattata. Um, yeah, you definitely didn't see those a lot in the past games, am I right? And then we have Sunkern. My very first Dream World Pokemon, Dodoo. And, um, last but not least, my Ampharos, which came as a Mareep. Um, I actually decided, since I like Ampharos, to level up my Mareep. And as you can see, this was the result. So, cool, cool. Alright, now I am going to show you guys some of the Pokemon that I have currently in the Dream World left to capture. So, first, I need to grab my Pokemon back from the Dream World. By the way... If you are interested and you haven't seen these already, I plan to actually make a video about the dream world later. If this um, video is good enough, if the uh, phone records well enough. Also, you'll notice the red light on my DS. I know it's about to die, but this video is not going to be too much longer, so it should be able to hold out. So right now all I'm doing is retrieving my current Pokemon back from the dream world. So. This is just so I can connect to the high link without it getting mad at me, saying you have a Pokemon that's still sleeping, so you need to get that out first. This can take a minute. Alright, here we go. Alright. Oh, oops. I forgot. I can't be in a Pokemon Center. Alright, so let's go outside. Alright, let's try this again. I would be running, and sorry for running the walls. It's, like I said, I'm holding this phone in one hand, and... This is another, so if you haven't seen this screen, this is what happens whenever you have Pokemon that you've caught or befriended, if you will, in the dream world, and you um, use your game sync and you synced it up with your game. This is what it looks like. Here we have an Iglybuff and a Bellsprout to capture. So you just go up to it, talk to it, and it's like, screw you, I'm going to fight you. And then it turns out, just kidding, I'm not really going to fight you, but you have to capture me. So what you do, 
is this. You press your bag and you throw a ball. This is the hardest Pokemon like capture ever. Okay, so then it adds it to your Pokédex, which you won't even be able to view it until you get the National Dex, but it adds it nonetheless. And then you can name it, I'm gonna name it, Hi, because I can't think of anything to name it and it's late. Okay, so now it resets this and then, wow, I'm right in front of Bell Bellsprout, so. So I'm gonna capture it really quick. Um. If you're not familiar to the Dreamer, like I said, I will be making a video about it sooner or later. Um, you start out in this little forest area. Wow, that was really shaky. But you start out in this forest area where you can capture a whole list of Pokemon. And then I think the next area you get is at 5,000 Dream Points. You earn Dream Points by capturing Pokemon, playing minigames, watering your berries, watering your friend berries, so on and so forth. And it's really cool. It takes a while. It's kind of an alternative to Pokewalker, but it's actually really cool compared to the Pokewalker. But like I said, I'll be making a video on that later. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, if you've never seen my videos before, please make sure to check out my channel. Maybe you can thumbs up, comment, favorite, subscribe. Anything would be nice. Sorry if this was a crappy video to you guys. But, like I said, I'm also using this to test out the camera on my phone. So, hopefully everyone has a good day, evening, or night. Alright, thank you.